That was a bite. I didn't get the best hook set, but I got them. Look at this, Hit perfectly. That's a two and a half all day. Go ahead and turn the scale on, zero it. I'm gonna say two pounds, six ounces. Two pounds, 15 ounces. There we go, on the jig, on the G Loomis. Oh. There's a bass on the board. 2 pounds 15 ounces talk to you about what i did here you got the i actually picked out a g loomis rod that i had at the house got a g loomis nrx it's a seven foot one heavy power fast action and you'll notice that when you first got the g loomis nrx rods when the new model first came out uh, they had the specifications for the rod down here at the bottom of the blank you will see that it says nrx 854c jwr seven foot one fast heavy 5 16 3 quarter 14 to 20 pound test i do have 20 pound sunline fluorocarbon strike king bitsy bug quarter ounce jig with a crack and cross a trailer i do have a 7.2 high gear shimano slx mgl now, i don't really care about how the the color looks or anything i, I just care that the equipment works but if you do kind of like that you'll notice that the gray black and the blue accents do go good with the reel normally i do put a shimano metanium or an antares on an nrx but i just tossed on the mgl and said hey you know what me too because i'm always ever since i caught that big carp i'm off on my weights i was usually on pretty good but i'll get back to it anyway let's stick right there you take that jig box out you'll see i do have green pumpkin black and blue cowboy craw a falcon lake craw blue craw I do carry, well, at least right now, I carry finesse jigs, casting jigs, football jigs. I do have quarter ounce, five sixteenths, and three eighths, and I will change that as the season goes. But just to show you the jig that I that I caught the fish on, let's take that out right there. Like I said, it is the Strike King Bitsy Bug, the finesse jig. This is actually a net bait pack a chunk trailer, but the one that I had on that I caught the fish on was a crack and craw. I have been using the net bait pack a chunk as a trailer more than anything and it has been really good to me so far so and again too if you're new to the channel and you like jig fishing or you want jig fishing tips i did do a bunch of those last last year so if you're interested i'll leave those as the end screen in this video see if we can get another another jig fish or two that's how i like to pitch quietly that wasn't the lowest to the water, but it'll do. That was a bite. Right where I thought he'd be. Told you. Boom, baby. There we go. That's so fat for how short it is. Look at that. Man. Yeah, look how fat he is. Bet you that's a pound. Sure it is. Major Lake Texas, one pound. Exactly. <laughs> Number two for the G Loomis. Yeah, I heard one the other day that had the tennis holes above. They love craws. That's why I'm throwing the jig, clear the scale. I'm gonna say one pound, five ounces. Well, it's, only, it's only like 12 inches. One, three. That is one pound, 
nine ounces. No, no, one pound eight ounces. One pound eight ounces. Look at it. I know. That's what I like to do with that jig is beat the bank with it, pitch it to places where you normally wouldn't go, throw it in heavy stuff. That's one instance where the heavy rod will help. Kind of thought there would be a fish sitting there. Same thing when I uh, was fishing the wood the other day. There's a reason why I do that, because I know this time of the year they're going to go to those spots. Got him. That's a rock bass. Look at that. Sitting on that pipe. Look at this. Ate the jig. Look at that rock bass. Fat little guy. See how I kind of hit that spool right before it hit the water? If you're casting and you're not pitching and you want to make it quieter, hit that spool, it'll drop that bait. Once in a while, it'll be, it'll be louder when it hits the water, but most of the time it'll make it quieter and you want that quiet approach. That was a bite. That'll make up for the one I missed. Get up here. There's the three pounder. Oh, wow. Makes up for the makes up for the one I missed. Look at this. Just came out. That's gotta be a three and a half. Man, good day of bank fishing. Thank you. Come on, turn on. Zero of the scale, man, that got, hurt. that got my heart going. I'm gonna say three pounds, five ounces. Three pounds, one ounce. Nope, three pounds, zero ounces. My hand's shaking, man. They like that jig today. Bitsy bug, man, putting in work. It's funny too, cause it's funny too, cause the other the other fish that I caught, I was dead sticking. Then I missed that fish. I said, you know what? Kind of go like this and hop it. Drove him nuts. That was a bite. Pike. Oh, he came off. Whew. Man, it's getting my hurt going, man. Holy crap. You can feel it too on that G Loomis when you pop it and they hit it. Like I've said before though, it, it don't matter. You don't gotta have an expensive rod. But if I were to buy an expensive rod, like something like this, it would be for bottom contact. But remember though, that's, that's not me telling you you have to, that's just personal preference. Anyway, take this trailer off and get another one out. Make a few more casts and I gotta get out of here. Take out the old green pumpkin crack and craw. That's what I've been using for a trailer today. Like I was saying earlier, like normally at this time of the year, I'd be using the pack a chunk, but crack and cross seems to be working pretty good. You know what I like to do? What I like to do for this bitsy bug, break open the appendage and I'll actually cut it 
at the third notch. For a regular jig, I'll cut it at the second notch. For like a bitsy bug or a little finesse jig, I'll cut it at two and a half, if that makes sense, or the third notch. And I like to have it perfectly straight. It doesn't have to be, but I just like it that way, like I said. Put that on there. Perfect trailer. All right, so what happened is I got stuck on the rocks. And like I said, I got that 20 pound test. I pulled the jig out and it bent the hook pretty bad. And these little bitsy bugs are so cool. Just take your pliers, bend it back, you're good to go. Got him. Look at this rock bass. Look at this. That is a pig. Look at this rock bass. That's got to be like a pound, man. Look at that. That's got to be close to a pound. I don't mean to put him through torture, but go ahead and zero the scale. One pound rock bass, come on. You can't see, but that is 11 ounces. 11 ounce rock bass. Uh-oh. bass in the jig man today's been one one hell of a day get up here there's another bass sitting there on the on the jig there we go that one's a little bit bigger than the last one got some cool colors to them this thing's just absolutely beat still catching fish. I have a thing for baits that have caught a lot of fish and that are destroyed that still work. And then you always like get proud of it and you decide you're gonna hang it up when you get home and then it gets ate by a fish. Yeah, I've been there, it sucks. When I mean eight, like a pike eats it or like you lose it or it gets snagged. And you're like, well, there goes that idea. Yeah, I've been there. <laughs> 